amazing royal jewels. I mean, they really are crown jewels. Very few regular people could get away with, with wearing things quite that big. We're here at Elizabeth Taylor's auction of her, her jewelry. This is one of the most exquisite collections what, of all time. I mean, you, you tell It's me. the greatest jewelry collection, I think, that has been for at least 20, 30 years. The collection of historical jewels as well as the jewels that she wore every day. I love the Peregrina pearl in the dog's mouth story. When she received the pearl, um, she was staying in Caesar's Palace in, in Las Vegas. She put it on, dancing around the apartment, thrilled to have this pearl. Loved the pearl, loved the pearl, the pearl's suddenly gone. Doesn't know where the pearl is. She looks down and her dog is chewing a bone. <laughs> Only the dogs didn't get bones. So the pearl's the in the pearl, mouth, but the it pearl went, to the mouth of the survived, dog. It, it survived. It survived 400 years. It survived the puppy. The Taj Mahal is extraordinary. Again, a great historic jewel inscribed with the name of Noor, who's the Empress of Jahangir. Jahangir is the father of Shah Jahan. Shah Jahan is the guy who built the Taj Mahal for his third wife. So it's called the Taj Mahal. And I know Burton said, I can't give you. I can't give you the Taj Mahal. It's too big. So, so you'd have to make do with the diamond. <laughs> We all know the Elizabeth Taylor diamond, not one of the smallest diamonds. Tell us the story behind that. Beautiful Asher cut, deep, deep stone, and something that she wore every day. Um, it really was the, the jewel that she had right next door to her bed. 33 carats. 33 Hold carats. Hold it off every day. Absolutely. But you know, if you've got it, why not?